All right, guys, in this video, we're going to answer N's question from our Discover Sydney website video for WordPress. How do I change the size? Seems like an urgent question here because of all the exclamations. And let's get it done for N here. So we're going to hop over to one of our newest websites so we can use new WordPress technology. And first, we need a menu. So let's just go to new or rather, let's go to menus. And easily, you can make a menu just by like selecting all and adding the menu something like that and cool that's way too many but we'll do it in the header and save the menu okay now we have a menu there it is and if you want to change the size of any menu item in any wordpress theme or website you're making the best way i've found is aside from using like the theme settings or the elementary settings something that'll work for everyone is just to right click on any menu item like workshops for example and inspect it and on the right, you'll get the exact HTML tree of that menu item. So you could potentially change just the menu font or size of one menu item by using the ID and the number. But in our case, we actually want to scroll up and grab the whole menu. And it's going to take a little trial and error sometimes. Let's sort of hit the reset button and right click again on workshops. Sometimes we have to reinspect. Okay, it takes us right to this link. And now let's go down and let's see what's going on in the CSS that our theme wrote. So there's like the links, which is the A. And we can see that there's some CSS which actually works on that by checking and unchecking. So maybe we could try just grabbing and being lazy here, grabbing the CSS that the theme developers wrote. And paste that in. Now let's try the font size on that. It says pixels and beautiful that worked and we'll said voila either way so now that we used a little of the correct css from the theme developer here and this is just a template i got through elementor we can publish it and now we'll see some real changes when we refresh our site so beautiful actually not that beautiful but what we can do now to make it prettier is delete the css that didn't work and we can bring the font size down to something more reasonable i think maybe 24 and publish it and hit refresh. So the lesson here, guys, is you want to right click inspect. If you want to use Google Chrome like me, that's a great idea, but this should work in any browser and then whittle it down by clicking on the HTML tree and then getting to the lowest possible level of the CSS that your theme developer wrote. In our case, that was the link item and the A and that's the font size right here that we now wrote. So it just inherited our own CSS. Cool. And then, of course, using that CSS selector we wrote, we can build down and do font family, change it up, learn how to spell, whatever you like to do. So, guys, now that we know how to increase the menu font size for all the menu items and style things like font family, make it bold, you name it, what if you wanted to style just one menu item and put something on it like a specific bold on some individual text or make one font different. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but maybe you want to add a button, which we did in a different video. Well, to get that sort of skill, you're going to want to right click on the menu links again. And instead of looking to the CSS, we're going to look to the HTML. So we're going to pull our Chrome window down and we're going to target the LI ID and you can see each one is numbered differently. Your numbers will of course be different, but these are just the menu item numbers that WordPress assigned. So typically the last menu item is styled. So we can just copy that or write it out if we want. I know it's a pound sign because it's an ID menu dash item. And that would be 74 to get the last menu link, which in our case says sign up. And then we can write something like border one pixel solid red. For example, okay, so that doesn't look good. It looks like there's like an error on that button or something, or we're doing like a tutorial, but when you style it out, you can really make things come to life. So you can pad it and then you can do a border radius to curve it. And you can make the width bigger. For example, red's not a great color, but orange would be more to take action. And then we can really just make it come to life. And I'm not sure why that padding isn't working. Oh, because there's no pixel. 
got to make sure we get our CSS exactly right or it won't work. And yeah, you get the picture there. So that's a lot cooler. And let's see if we publish if the button is off center like that. I'm not sure how that one's going to look on the live site. All right, so it's a little bit off center. And to fix that, we could adjust the other menu items down. So the ones that have a different number, we'll just push them down. Or you could kind of float the entire menu so there's margin above it. Um, but hopefully you won't have this problem because your menu and your developer will have set up the menu items so we can style one of them without it falling out of line like that. That's how most themes are, just not this one right here. So in our case, we can go with 72, 73, and 75. And we're going to do a little bit of margin on the top. And that way we can push them down the right amount. So pretty cool. Now you know how to style individual menu items. And that way we can also change the font, change the size, whatever you want of that individual menu item to make it stand out. And I don't know what you want to create. You might have some crazy idea. but now you have a little bit more power to do it which is always good and for bold of course it would be font weight bold pretty cool yep the size could be bigger too you guessed it so i really hope that helps you guys customize your menus and now you know how to change the menu font and menu font size of any menu using custom css and also how to change individual menu items styling like fonts font sizes and how to convert them into a little button over here and there are so so many options so have fun learn as much as you can of course let me know any questions about your css or wordpress in general in the comments hit the red button to subscribe if you guys want to learn more about wordpress and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching